Welcome again to this particular episode of Sharing God's Holy Word. Darkness at noon, the blind see. We have a paradoxical topic today about darkness at noon and how the blind can see. And let me begin off with Tertullian. Tertullian uh, gives us a quotation about blindness. Tertullian is and was a, a, a historian. He was a great writer. He's among those who did a lot of writing, the writings which the church stands on in part even up to today. We will be sharing a few of his quotes. And one of those, which is about blindness, goes like this. Two kinds of blindness are easily combined so that those who do not see really appear to see what is not. Mm -hmm. And we will be seeing this as we read and reflect on the story in John chapter 9. There we find the story of a man that was born blind and he was healed by Jesus. And this healing caused a lot of questioning among many Jews, especially the leaders. Let's begin the story at verse 24. A second time they summoned the man who had been blind. Give glory to God by telling the truth, they said. We know this man is a sinner. He replied, whether he is a sinner or not, I don't know. One thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see. Then they asked him, what did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered, I have told you already and you did not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples too? Then they hurled insults at him and said, You are this fellow's disciple. We are disciples of Moses. Now go to verse 39 and find, Jesus said, For judgment I have come into this world, so that the blind will see, and those who will see become blind. Those who see will become blind. Friends, this scripture helps us to see that our eyesight is not enough. We need heart sight as well. We need to see with our hearts, with our eyes, with our minds. We need a clear eyesight, a clear sight that does not only see things temporal, but also can see things eternal. And in this scripture, we clearly see two categories of people. The first represented by the man who was born blind now has been healed. He's able to see physically. But even beyond that, he is able to see spiritually. All he knows is that the man who made him well is the Messiah. He had not studied that very well, but later on he met Jesus. Jesus introduced himself to him. And he believed and became a disciple of Jesus Christ. So he has not only recovered physically and recovered physical sight, but he has spiritual sight. He has spiritually found the Messiah and he's able to put his faith in him. So that blind man, that man who was born blind but now can see, represents one category. And I am part of those who have been restored whose eyesight has been restored, the spiritual eyesight has been restored, and we have beheld the Messiah and embraced him in our lives. I hope you are one of those. But the second category are those who think they see. They claim they can see. They say they are disciples of Moses. So they think they are able to see, but they can't see the Messiah. The Messiah has been with them. Moses, the one they are claiming they believe in, prophesied about the Messiah, and many other prophets came and did the same. But these leaders cannot stomach that this Jesus is the Christ. They are not able to see it. And Jesus just sends them deeper into their own blindness. 
And he says, for judgment I have come into this world, so that the blind will see, and those who see will become blind. In other words, those who think they are seeing will become blind. And this is where I found Tertullian's quote quite interesting. Two kinds of blindness are easily combined so that those who do not see really appear to see what is not. So these are the kind of Jews we are talking about who appear to see what is not. They are saying we are disciples of Moses. Moses pointed to the Messiah. They are not able to see the Messiah. So they are seeing a Messiah perhaps in Moses and yet that is not possible. They are seeing what is not possible. I want to ask you whether you are seeing. Are you blind or you are able to see? Not just to see the money you are counting or to see the road and make sure you cross it safely. But to see and receive the Messiah Jesus Christ. When I was choosing the topic, the words to put in the topic, I thought of darkness at noon. And it has ever happened. We, can, we have ever had darkness at noon. Uh, but, but that is rare. It doesn't happen every day. It doesn't happen every year. It doesn't happen every decade. Darkness at noon. It's a very rare phenomenon. And therefore, I wanted you to just think about that. Can it be that, you know, at noon, when we are supposed to be able to see clearly everywhere, but there is darkness and people are not able to see. I don't know whether you are living in the darkness at noon. You need to come out of that kind of place. Behold the Messiah.